gonna talk to him. I am. Romeo! <gasps> Romeo! Hmm. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh. I'm never gonna get Rob to notice me. I'm never gonna get any boy to notice me. I just wish I could compete with the Jennies of this world. Curse of the Looking Glass. I think I missed a spot with my suntan lotion. Here, let me give you a hand. <sighs> Good one. <sighs> oh. Martin, could you make your romantic failures a little quieter? I'm trying to study. Hey, you're Martin Mystery, aren't you? Did Martin Mystery flirt with your girlfriend? Uh, no. Then yes, I am Martin Mystery. And you're Diana Lombard. Huh? You're both investigators of the paranormal, working for a super secret organization called The Center. Am I right or am I right? Okay. Who are you and how do you know everything about us? <laughs> Billy! How do you like my new suit? I'm guessing it's not off the rack. Nope, it's the BS-1000, a wearable bodysuit. I convinced Mom to let me use it. Why? So I could be a normal teen, just like you guys. There's really nothing normal about Martin. Well, I think it's great, as long as you steer clear of sharp objects. Excuse me, that is a lovely book bag. If you ever need any help packing hmm. it... I see I can learn a lot from you. Yeah, about loneliness. Oh, I've got an idea. Now that you have the BS-1000, why don't you be my wingman? Wingman? You know, my assistant, my backup. You run interference for me as I go flying in on my missions of love. Cool. Huh, I've got to get that adjusted. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> wow. Double wow. I see you've noticed Darlene. She just showed up yesterday. And frankly, now with her around, I was lucky to even get a study date tonight at the library. Well, I guess I should introduce myself. Why not? She'll have to be repulsed by you sooner or later. Wingman, get into formation. We're going in. <gasps> <laughs> Wingman, aboard! Return to base! Someone launched a preemptive strike! <laughs> Hey, missing student. Does that happen a lot around here? Don't worry. I doubt he's really missing. Probably just dropped out and didn't tell anyone. Maybe, but maybe not. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what this is? Hmm. My first solo assignment. Hmm. Uh -huh. Solo assignment. Solo, as in on my own, not handed to me by the center. Martin Mystery, clear. Uh. Okay, time to pull up the 411 of Mr. Matt Carp. Hmm, school average is 3.872. Is that good? About 3.871 more than Martin's. Ha ha. Member of the chess club, the debating club, the baseball team, and the basketball team. Not exactly your dropout kind of guy. It says here that Matt was last seen around 8 p.m. on Monday. Well, let's just tap into Torrington's computer system and check out Matt's schedule. Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, this computer system is putting out a lot of power. I don't know if the Torrington computers... They won't even know I did it. 
According to this, Matt would have finished basketball practice right before he disappeared. <laughs> Well, coming? Where? To the gym. I want to check out Matt's locker. Ugh, you think I want to go with you into some moldy locker room and tiptoe my way around wet towels and stinky jocks right before my big date? Fine. Billy and I will investigate alone. Have fun studying. Thanks, I will. Ready, wingman? Wingman reporting for duty, sir. I must get that adjusted. Now the main thing is to make the ladies think you can live without them. Watch and learn. Hang with me. Don't hang with me. I so don't care. Uh, that makes two of us. I am learning so much. Hmm. Oh, what's that noise? Water. Is that normal? Uh, it's not to be unexpected in a locker room. This is a little creepy. Then we must be on the right track, wingman. Ah, here it is. <laughs> you watch activated. Eye cutter selected. <laughs> Don't tell me that's normal in a locker room. Far from. Which is why we should take some back to my room for analysis. Slime scan selected. Wingman, fetch me my goo. <laughs> do the standing, but never the other way. Nothing. You go. I can't leave you alone. Sure you can. I'll be fine. Okay. You're not gonna believe this. Speaking of which, did you know that thanks to the BS-1000, Billy can twist himself into a pretzel? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll play stupid bodysuit tricks later. I was followed back from the library. Wait a minute! Aren't you supposed to be on a date? Yeah. You didn't get stood up, did you? What stood up mean? Stiffed, abandoned, rejected. I was not stood up. Hung out to dry, dumped. I was not stood up! Something happened to my date. Before or after he stood you up? Ugh, I think that the monster that followed me back from the library may have had something to do with him not showing up. Wait, 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 you were followed by a monster? Yeah, but I lost it. What did it look like? Uh, I didn't get a clear view of it. It was green, uh, small, and furry. Green? Look what we found in Matt Carp's locker. What is it? It's a mixture of DNAs. What do you mean, a mixture of DNAs? Well, for starters, we found DNA traces of the missing student, Matt Carp. The next DNA trace we found belongs to something of unknown origin. It's called a Crispangor. 
Hey, Mom. Greetings. This certainly is some funky stuff you've discovered, Martin. Hey, thanks for analyzing it so quickly. What is a crispy gore anyway? Not crispy gore. Crispangor, a woodland creature of ancient folklore. Don't you ever read the Legend X? Not for fun, like certain lonely people I know. The Crispangor came upon a sad woman crying in a forest one day. He gave her a magic mirror and told her to make a wish. The woman wished that young men would notice her. Her wish came true and all men found her irresistible. But any she touched turned into a Crispangor. Could they ever become men again? All the woman had to do was reverse the wish, but she was so tempted by being desired that she didn't do it in time. In time for what? The Crispangor she created grew too strong. She thought she could control them, but she couldn't. And then... What? What? According to the Legend X, Crispangors have quite a large appetite. Good luck. Ah! I thought you said you lost the monster! Oh. Martin, do something! Like what? Offer to feed it? No, don't be a chicken! Do something! How she says as she hides behind the inflatable wingman. Ah! Ah! Ah, Java! Another missing student. You all need to drink less coffee, you two tents. Jared Wilcox, captain of the football team. Wait a second. I saw Darlene wearing a football team jacket. Are you saying... I'm saying we didn't have a missing student problem until she got here. There's only one thing to do. I better get close to Darlene. Real close. Learn everything I can about her. Are you gonna need your wingman on this mission? Uh, I think it'll be better if I go in alone on this one. Martin is so brave. My hero. Come on, we're gonna watch his back. <laughs> yes? Uh, you don't know me and uh, I don't know you, but together we don't know each other and uh, how awful is that? Good line. Really? Uh, I mean, uh, hi, my name's Martin Mystery. I'm Darlene. I know. Please, this isn't the best time to come in. But I already did. Hey, nice room. You know, I've seen you around and thought to myself, now there's a girl who can't say no to a latte. You really want to go out with me? Sure. I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Shy, huh? I like that in a girl. Well, what's that? You know, maybe I will go out with you. You will? Uh, great. No, uh, put that back down. I mean, I can do that myself. Oh, huh, sure. Oh, uh, let me get those. Oh, no. I can't believe I did it again! I'm so sorry! There's only one force on this earth that can cause that kind of destruction. Martin, come on! What happened? Where's Martin? Look. The Legend X said that the Crispangor are woodland creatures, right? Look at the design on the mirror. I thought you said this girl's name is Darlene. Hmm. Who's this? That's Darla Simmons. <gasps> Wait a minute. Darla Simmons is Darlene. She must have used the mirror to wish for beauty. That must mean... Martin has been turned into a Crispangor! Let's go. Where? To rescue my brother. to break in. Oh. Let me handle this. <laughs> Allow me. Huh, that works. <gasps> hmm. Huh. 
Ian Saunders. He's the one I was supposed to have the date with tonight. Oh, the one who stood you up. I think this proves he had a good excuse. <gasps> That's coming from downstairs. There is a way! By using this and wishing to be yourself again, Darla. How did you find me? <laughs> Martin? You have to reverse your wish before it's too late! I know this looks bad, but I can control it! No, you can't! The monsters are getting stronger! Soon they'll escape and the whole school will be in danger! Just reverse the wish! You think I like what happens? I don't! But at least boys pay attention to me now! Darla? Well, nobody ever wanted to talk to Darla. But Darlene... Darlene is hurting people! Is that what Darla would want? There is no more Darla! <laughs> just the way she was, right? Darla, not Darlene. Just ask him out. I wanted to, but someone asked him out first. That someone could be you next time. All it takes is confidence. What if he says no? Then he's an idiot, because I saw a picture of Darla, and anyone who wouldn't go out with her must be crazy. I wish I was the real me again. Diana? Billy? Any of you guys seen Darlene? Sorry. Darlene is gone. Forever. Ah, 
you should have seen Billy. He was so sweet and sincere that he won Darla over. Maybe he should teach you about girls. Nah, Martin's still the master. Looks like Darla finally got the courage to ask Rob out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Martin, I was just wondering, are all girls this confusing? Yes, which is why I'm quitting. Just when I think I've got them figured out, they go and do something completely unpredictable, like turn me into a monster. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was really looking forward to being your wingman as a... Martin? Hi there, I'm doing a campus survey. If you could be any kind of swimsuit, what kind would you be? Well, the kind with the high leg. Like this! <laughs> <laughs> like this before. A little elbow grease and polish and you'll be as good as new. Amazing! You're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. Curse of the Six String Serenade! boys, because yours truly is about to unveil his latest, greatest, no-fail girl-catching technique. Uh, no thanks. I'll pass. Java no want to see either. But it's brilliant, as in guaranteed to woo the ladies. <laughs> oh. In case you haven't noticed, Marty, your no-fail girl-catching techniques haven't exactly been working lately. In fact, watching you try to pick up girls is kind of like watching a train wreck. Java agree. Can't bear to look. I'll show you a train wreck. I mean, that's ridiculous. Watch this. <laughs> You're so sweet, the coffee I'm treating us to won't need any sugar. Huh? Ew, whatever. Hmm, guess I should kick it up a notch. Give me a you, and a me, and a cafeteria snack. What have you got? Love, mystery style. Gross, get away from me. You are more beautiful than the stars we will dine under tonight. Sorry, but I don't dine with freaks. <laughs> I don't get it. The magazine said puppy dog eyes never fail. Uh, what magazine was that? Uh, this one's off the leash. You're taking dating tips from a dog magazine? So? So, Martin off his leash. <laughs> 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 You know, maybe you just need to rethink your whole girl-catching approach, Marty. You know, go for something totally new, something fresh, something out of the box. Oh, but I've already tried everything. Stand-up comedy, powerlifting, cookie grams, balloon art, life drawing, love potions, hypnosis. No, oh, nothing works. There is one thing, Martin, no try. Joining the school band. 
Are you kidding, Joff? That's for geeks without dates. Not school band, rock band. Joff, you're a genius. You're right. A band would definitely impress the ladies. Best part is, you and Java can be my bandmates. We're gonna, gonna rock. rock! But first, we need some instruments, a name, some songs, and a place to play. Come one, come all to Diana Lombard's Modern Low Tea Society? Sorry, come again? When most people think tea, they automatically think high tea, but my research has shown that low tea was actually... Eh, save me the boring details. Don't understand, don't care. Good, because my club is only for girls. Besides, it's not boring, it's sophisticated. We dress up, drink tea, eat great food, read books, and take time for music appreciation. Uh, did you say music appreciation? That's right. Well, I know just the band for your little club. We're, I mean, they are gonna rock your world. Hmm. The Modern Low Tea Society does not rock. Oh, trust me, Di, you'll love them. They're very uh, sophisticated. In fact, that's their name, the Sophisticates. Well, in that case, they can play. The club meets at 4 p.m. sharp. The Sophisticates? That really band name? Yeah, it doesn't exactly scream rock. First rule of music, biz fellas. Tell the people what they want to hear. Ugh, this place stinks. Ooh, makes eyes water. Hello, anybody here? Huh, I guess we just help ourselves. Hey, you break it, you buy it. Java take drums. And I'll take this keyboard. And I'll take that guitar. Wow. Uh, be careful. That guitar is very special. <gasps> special is right. My fingers are on fire. Oh boy, you're a natural, Marty. Wow, you're amazing. Keep the guitar. It's yours. Mine? Are you kidding? I insist. Take anything you want from the store. In fact, here, take the store. Uh, that's okay. Just the guitar is fine. Are you sure? Because I'd do absolutely anything for you. What's mine is yours. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, okay, uh, bye now. <laughs> Whoa. Is it me, or is that girl a little off balance? Wait! Come back! Can I have your autograph? Yeah. Guess Java was right. Women sure do love musicians. <laughs> is everybody enjoying themselves? Sorry, Di, but your low T has hit a seriously low excitement level. Uh, don't worry, the band will be here soon. I hope. <gasps> that must be them. <laughs> or not. Hey, Di, allow me to present the Sophisticates. Is this your idea of a joke, Martin Mystery, or are you trying to ruin my club? Give us a chance, Di, you're gonna love it. Hello, Torrington! This first song is called I'm a Chick Magnet!
appreciation, not music annihilation. That's it! Out! <laughs> and stay out! I don't get it! Everything was going great until Di ruined it. Oh, don't worry, Marty. There'll be plenty of opportunities to be a chick magnet tomorrow. The sophisticates bound to get tons of gigs. Uh, yeah. You're right. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Oh, oh, uh, weird. It suddenly smells like ammonia out here. <laughs> If I can't have you, no one can! Uh, you may have a little competition now that I'm a big rock star! Ugh, kidding! Sheesh! This was my best rock star jacket! to craze fans, but this is ridiculous. Well, what do you think it was? I don't know, but after it jumped me, I noticed this stinging smell that made my eyes water. Now I can't get rid of the stench no matter how many times I shower. Well, it serves you right for ruining my club. Instead of finishing their doilies, the girls spent the rest of the night talking about how cute you were. Really? Uh, they, 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 they thought I was cute? They were acting like a bunch of giddy music groupies. <laughs> Guess my plan made quite an impression. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jenny. You can bump into me anytime, handsome. I baked you a chocolate cake. Maybe we can enjoy it tonight. After dinner? Uh, wait, did you just ask me on a date? It's Martin Mystery! Can I have your phone number? Uh, why? So I can ask you out, silly! Oh, oh, sure. Uh, let me just grab a pen. Even your clothes smell like rock star. Okay, what's wrong with this picture? Martin, I finished your math homework. Martin, I polished your sneakers. Martin, I ironed your gym shorts. Martin! Ladies, please, a little breathing room. Thanks, Di. Don't thank me yet. Let's get out of here. Remind me again why I'm running away from all the cute girls. Something very weird is going on. Oh, you think? The same girls who never give you the time of day are suddenly in love with you. You know, it all started that day at the music store. At first, the owner couldn't get us out of there fast enough. Then, when I started playing, she gave me this guitar. Maybe the guitar is casting some kind of spell on everyone. <laughs> Certainly wasn't your playing. Huh, thanks. Kick me while I'm down. It still doesn't explain why I wasn't affected. <sighs> Only one way to find out. We go back to the music store. How? Right out there is a hallway full of crazed groupies. You'll never make it out alive. Then we'll use the back way. That's what all the rock stars do. You watch activated. Eye cutter selected. Lucky for us, you cut holes way better than you play. Oh, this place is a mess. Ugh, what's that awful smell? Instrument cleaner. It's the same smell from the night the creature attacked me. Why would a creature smell like ammonia cleaner? Maybe it was dirty. How should I know? Hey, Di, check this out. It's the case for my guitar. There's a symbol on the front. Uh, maybe it'll shed some light on this. You watch activated. Legend X selected. It's the symbol of Aphrodite, Greek goddess of love. That would explain the bright red guitar. 100 years ago, a lonely guitar maker used it to woo his sweetheart. But his playing also made all the other potential suitors fall madly in love with him. And that explains why I wasn't affected. You're my stepbrother, so I'm not a potential suitor. And we'll call that the silver lining. Mm. 
there's more. The spell eventually drove his sweetheart away, and he was devoured by the love monsters he created. We have to figure out a way to reverse it. Oh no, the love monsters must have followed us here. You stole our girlfriends. Now you're gonna pay. Here, use this. What am I supposed to do with it? Play him a soothing song? Now that's music to my ears. Maybe this will change your tune. We better get back to campus. Right behind you. Oh, this is freaky. It's like a shrine to yours truly. No wonder the girls' boyfriends were so angry. <sighs> I'd hate to think what they'd do if they got their hands on the real me. Ah! I don't think any of us want to find out. Here, put this on. Billy, it's 80 degrees outside. A trench coat isn't exactly inconspicuous. <clears throat> oh, we fix this now. If Java forced to hear one more, I love Martin, he gonna lose it and go caveman on everyone. Okay, time to figure out how to stop every girl on campus from worshipping me. I can't believe I just said that. Nobody touches my guitar but me! Playing helps me think! Wait, what if we play the song backwards? Maybe that would reverse the spell. Even if that did work, I've heard you guys play. No offense, but you can barely play the song forwards, let alone backwards. Guy's got a point there. <gasps> I know! What if we record the song on your computer? We can just play it back in reverse. Great idea, Di. Then we can sneak into Pebbleton's office and broadcast it over the school PA. Let's rock. Hello, Torrington. It's great to be back again. This is a little number I like to call. Just play, Martin. Uh, right. And a one, and a two. song I've ever heard. Uh oh, looks like we've got company. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but they must have been drawn to the music. From now on, I'm gonna be extra careful what I wish for. <laughs> get them off! Get them off! <laughs> Java warned. Time to go caveman! Get to Pebbleton's office! We can handle this from here! I hope. If I'd known it was this easy, I would have checked out my permanent record years ago. Martin, focus! We have a demented love spell to reverse, remember? Right, silly me. For a moment there, I actually thought it would be fun to be devoured by a campus full of love monsters. Not. that somewhere before. Oh. Huh, you're the same creature that attacked me outside my door. I love you, Martin. I can't live without you. Soon, you'll be mine. I've always wanted to hear those words, just not for my hideous, drooling love monster. First lesson of love, sometimes it hurts. What are you trying to do, Di? Annoy her to death? You have a better suggestion. Yeah, time for a little tough love. <laughs> You're 
welcome. Uh, for what? For distracting Heidi so you could take her down. If it wasn't for me, you'd be Groupie Grub. A uh, fan food. I get it, Di. <gasps> a monster man witch! That's enough! Uh-oh, please tell me that's not what I think it is. Ah! <laughs> Di, play the song. I'll take care of Heidi. <laughs> You watch activated. X rod selected. Gotcha! Man, there's no keeping these crazed love monsters down. You know, I should have my own action series, complete with obsessed groupies. Oh, wait, I already have those. Come on, come on, play! Go! <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. Here, you can have this. I sure don't want it. Seriously, I don't know what I was thinking. And make sure mom puts this someplace safe, okay? Oh, what? No waterworks? No clinging to false hope? No utter devastation that girls no longer worship the ground you walk on? Eh, easy come, easy go. Who are you kidding, Marty? You never give up. Even when all look hopeless. Yeah, what gives? Can't a guy want a little me time? You know what they say, you can't love someone until you love yourself first. You can't give away what you don't have. You can't- Hey, there he is! Where is he? I'll be there! Hey, mystery, you're- you're finished, man! <laughs> I thought we had a deal, Mystery. You lay off our girls and we don't send you into the stratosphere. It was just a few friendly phone calls and emails. And they didn't mean anything, guys, I swear. <sighs> I'm sorry, old habits die hard. I can't help myself. I think it's a disease. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide, Mystery. You think we should help? In a minute, let's just make sure he learns his lesson first. <laughs> I've got the popcorn. I've got the soda pop. Java got movies. Oh, uh, there's no way I can do movie night. I'm way too busy. What are you talking about? 
talking about? You're always up for movie night. Martin was who started it. Oh, we can even watch some of those cheesy horror movies you like so much. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of creating my greatest invention yet, the world's first ghost trap. <laughs> now, if you don't mind. It looks like we're gonna have a movie night without Martin. Java wanna watch scary movie. <laughs> really? Cause I was kinda thinking we could watch a, a lighthearted musical. <laughs> Billy, I swear, you're afraid of everything, even your own shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to watch another scary movie again. <sighs> there's nothing there, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. <sighs> there's nothing there. Diana's right. I get scared way too easily. But just to make sure... I can't believe I almost forgot about that exam next month. I'm gonna have to spend the next three weeks cramming for it. Oh, I'll just rest my eyes for a few minutes. Must finish ghost catcher. Uh. <laughs> 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 in the chair all night. But at least the ghost catcher's finished. Oh man, am I ever late for class? It's not my fault I'm late. There was a solar eclipse yesterday and it caused my alarm clock to malfunction and I was at... Sorry, it won't happen again. I fell asleep in the library studying for that big exam and... So glad you could join us, sis. This is weird. Uh, maybe today is a holiday we don't know about. Zai, if there was a day off school, believe me, I'd know about it. Can anybody hear me? Free ice cream! Get your free ice cream here! We've checked everywhere and there's no one around. I think we should contact the center. Only you could think that this is a bad thing. We're all alone at school. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Martin, get back here. <laughs> Martin Mystery's got the ball and there's no stopping him. He splits the knee and goes up for the slam. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> what a slam! Oh, I just wish there was someone here besides you to see it. We've got to figure out what's going on here. Looks like a brick way to me. He shoots. He scores. He scores. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be good. You're gonna get in trouble. Really? Anybody here object to what I'm doing? Anybody else? And now for the ultimate meal, behold, the pancake pizza! That looks really disgusting. Don't knock it until you try it, sis. 
Ugh. Tell me you didn't just do that. to admit that was fun. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it was, but I think we should head into town to try and figure out where everyone is. Good idea. Oh, and while we're there, maybe we can get some dessert. Help us! Ghost town. This is getting really weird. It can't be a school holiday here, so something must be up. I can't believe the last two people on Earth are me and you. How lame is that? It's not my idea of a good time either. Now come on, we have to concentrate. It looks like everyone just disappeared in the middle of what they were doing. Imagining things. That's not our imagination. Come on. Stop! We won't hurt you. You know, after what I ate, I'm not really in the mood for a long chase. New watch activated. Turbo bungee selected. <laughs> Nobody escapes Martin Mystery. No! <laughs> Oh, what's your problem? Ooh. Wow. What are you and what did you do with everyone? Uh, I have no idea what happened to everyone. Now, could you just lower your weapon, please? Hey, Martin. The name's Caitlin. Sorry about roughing you up. Uh, no problem. It really didn't hurt that much. Well, it looks like we're not alone anymore. So, are you two, you know, together? Huh? No! Gross! Diana is my stepsister. Good to know. So, uh, Caitlin, are you from around here? I go to the Torrington Junior College. Last night I was shooting my new student film, Zombie Aliens from Mars. That sounds amazing. <sighs> but this morning, I couldn't find anyone on campus or in town. I tried calling my friends, but nobody's answering. Where could everyone be? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us. Well, that's not so bad. At least you're here with me. <laughs> Just when I thought the day couldn't get any weirder. Did you... So, uh, did, did you notice anything unusual last night? Ugh. If you consider getting attacked unusual, I couldn't see what it was, but it kept coming after me. I bailed on my shoot and hid out until the morning. Oh, I wish if, if I was to help, if I protect uh, me to you. <laughs> Have you been eating paste? So, what do you think happened? Uh-oh, here we go. Personally, I think that the city was probably evacuated by aliens who were planning to turn it into their headquarters. That's exactly what I was gonna say! Hmm? Ooh, what a nightmare! It's like being stuck with two Martins! This is where I was shooting my film last night. Cool! Foster one to Mothership! Come in, Mothership! 
<laughs> Excuse us, Caitlin. I need to borrow Martin for a sec. Oh, okay. I think it's about time we talk to Mom. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Agents Lombard and Mystery. Just the people I need to speak to. Mom, what's going on? I've just received reports that millions of people around the world have disappeared. The center is entering full crisis mode. As of yet, we have no idea what's going on. Have you heard from Billy or Java? Hmm, not since yesterday, I'm afraid. I'll keep you posted if I find out anything. Please be careful, agents. So, were you talking to your girlfriend, Martin? Girlfriend? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, well, uh, yeah, not that I don't want one, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone now, or before, uh, but maybe in, in the future, I... Yeah, uh, we were just leaving a message on our friend's answering machine. We can't get a hold of anyone either. I can't believe that someone like you doesn't have a girlfriend. Uh, did I just hear that? I feel bad about being too busy for everyone and ruining movie night. I just hope we'll have a chance to see Billy and Java again. This is a bad idea. We should be out there investigating. We're wasting time. Hey, I'm hungry. And I'm totally useless on an empty stomach. We can investigate in here and get a bite to eat. I love a man with a plan. Ugh. Now we're talking. Mmm, pickle ketchup chips, my fave. Whoa, that's my favorite flavor too. It must be destiny. Mm. Mm. I think I found something. These holes don't seem to go anywhere, they just stop. And signs of a struggle. Interesting. So, what's the deal? Are you some sort of paranormal detective investigating the supernatural or something? You see, it's not exactly like it. <sighs> okay, nobody panic. We just need to remain calm and get these lights back on. <laughs> They're all around us. What are they? <laughs> Something's got me. Uh, it sure got a tight grip. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, Caitlin, you can let go now. <laughs> Obviously, you're not an electrician, Martin. Ah! Help! It's got me! Diana! Go! Ah! Where'd you go? Where are you? I don't see her anywhere. She's gone. Ah! We'll be next if we don't get out of here. <laughs> we're safe. Is this your idea of saving the day? Hi, Martin. Actually, yes, it is. Huh, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this. Oh, oh. Sorry, Caitlin. He just got his license. Maybe we should walk. Good to meet you. I'm Billy. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Something terrible is happening. When I woke up in the morning, Java was gone, and so was everyone else. There's nobody here. It gets worse, Billy. Diana just disappeared, too. Hello? Help me, Caitlin. You're my only hope. Guys, it's my friend Alex. We have to make an emergency pit stop. I hope this Alex guy isn't her boyfriend. Hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. If you're having a bad feeling, I'm having a horrible feeling. Did anyone else hear that? Unfortunately, yes. Help me, Caitlin. You're my only hope. Why would Alex make a recording of that message? Wait a minute. We've been lured here. This is a setup. We've got to get out of the house. <laughs> what are they? I don't plan on sticking around to find out. Follow me. I, I can't move. Don't worry. I'll save you. Let go of me. Don't worry, Martin. I've got your back. How did that happen? Yeah. Taking the 
wheel. Whatever those things are, we know they're intelligent. I'm taking us back to my place. We can crash there and figure out what to do next. You're acting weird, Martin. You're going to a girl's house, and you didn't even make a comment. Amazing! She's got posters from all my favorite movies, tons of comic books, and all the coolest video games, too! Wow! She's like a girl version of you, Martin! Do you think so? I just wish I knew how to act around her so I don't mess it up. Earth the Martin! Uh, uh, so, Billy, uh, what did you do last night? I just watched some horror movies and crashed at Java's place. Did anything weird happen? Well, I thought I heard noises, uh, but once I turned on my trusty 300-watt nightlight, everything was okay. Not that I'm afraid of the dark or anything. Wait a second. That's it! We both were in the light when we slept last night. <sighs> and I was using bright lights when I shot my film and the attacks against us happen when the lights were turned off. Check it, it's the footage I shot last night. Maybe there's a clue in it somewhere. Whoa, this movie rocks. Huh? Hey, hey, yeah, slow that part down. It looks like your own shadow is attacking you. That wasn't part of the movie. <gasps> What's going on, Mom? I've been getting a crazy reading on our paranormal detectors. There's a disturbance that's moving along the Earth's axis from east to west. It seems to be following the sun as it sets. I think it might have something to do with people's own shadows. Mom, are you there? Mom! <laughs> the sun is almost set! Not good news. I think the shadows can only come out in the darkness and take people. I'll get some flashlights and candles just in case. I'll help. <sighs> yeah, so, uh, Caitlin, I was just wondering if you would ever consider um, going on a date with me sometime? You know, Martin, with all that's been going on, I think that... <gasps> oh... <laughs> If you can't beat him, join him! Ah! It's got me! Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you, and I'm not gonna let go! You better not! Ah! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Caitlin, she's gone.
Previously on Martin Mystery. Hello? Is anyone here? We've checked everywhere and there's no one around. Mom, what's going on? I've just received reports that millions of people around the world have disappeared. It looks like a ghost town. That's not our imagination. Stop! We won't hurt you! Wow! What are you and what did you do with everyone? Uh, I have no idea what happened to everyone. This is where I was shooting my film last night. It looks like your own shadow is attacking you. Get behind me! We both were in the light when we slept last night. And I was using bright lights when I shot my film. And the attacks against us happened when the lights were turned off. <sighs> we're safe. When I woke up in the morning, Java was gone. Diana just disappeared too. I've been getting a crazy reading on our paranormal detectors. I think it might have something to do with people's own shadows. No! Don't worry, I've got you. What is this place? Caitlin, she's gone. Day of the Shadows, part two. creatures avoid the light. I've never seen anything like it. It was totally creepy. And now Caitlin's trapped down there. With Diana and Mom and Java and the rest of the world, they're all stuck in that shadow dimension. We need to find out more about these creatures. You watch activated. Legend X selected. Oh, this must be their leader. A shadow creature named Barack the Faceless One who lives in an alternate dimension. Does it say why he's pulling the humans into his dimension? Barack wants to take over the Earth, but he can't leave his realm until all the humans are gone. Get this. Once Barack sets foot on Earth, the gateway between the dimensions will be closed for all eternity. And if that happens, everyone will be trapped forever in a shadow realm. We have to save the world! And I might have a date coming up. Although this Alex dude might ruin everything. So Caitlin said yes? Actually, I'm not sure. There's only one way to find out. I have to save her. must possess people's own shadows, which somehow drag the people into his dimension. But why do they only attack at night? I'm guessing that the darkness is their source of power. If we can stay in the light, they can't catch us. So what are we waiting for? to be safe than sorry. Yeah, right. We're gonna have to fight to rescue Die Java Mom and... <sighs> Caitlin. The only way we can confront Barack is to meet him at the entrance of his shadow dimension. Wherever that is. Oh, this is horrible. Only one person can save the world, and it's Martin. Not the most comforting thought. Let's see if we can give Agent Mystery a hand. Ultra U watch activated. Transmitter selected. I have a feeling that this dimension is a vacuum. If I'm right, then we might be able to get a transmission over to Martin. There's gotta be a way to get into the shadow world. Oh, nothing. 
Once someone is pulled in, the entrance to the other dimension closes. Martin! <gasps> Billy! Can you hear me? Was it my imagination, or were those TVs talking to us? Martin, if you can hear me, get to your computer and trace my signal. You must find a rift that will allow you to open up this shadow realm. I'm on it, Mom. Find the rift. Hurry. Please be careful, agents. Good thing there's no traffic. Who knows how long Mom can transmit? <laughs> Uh, maybe I should drive. Hey, I haven't had an accident for weeks. Watch out! <laughs> Barack must be getting more powerful. Now he's even got the tree shadows on his side. <laughs> Big Shadow, 12 o'clock! Time for a detour! Run! <laughs> Hurry it up, Billy! But I need the lights! <laughs> no, my lights! Come on! As long as we stay under the street lights, we'll be okay. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. That shadow's gonna be in for a surprise. Martin Mystery, clear. Come on, Mom, where are you? Martin, I've just uploaded a program into your computer. It will allow you to track my signal and find the portal between dimensions. Okay, I'm opening the file now. Locked on! Now we're in business. Uh, what are you doing? Well, the program takes a few minutes to give us a location, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna buy Caitlin a gift off the internet. I always manage to mess up with other girls. The new Martin mystery is gonna do things right. Hmm, do I go with the Be My Baby Bear or the Kiss Me Koala? I'm not sure I like this new Martin mystery. I think I'll go with the Sweetie Pie Panda. <laughs> the lights, Billy! <laughs> hey, Shadow, over here! <laughs> 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 I have an idea. Catch me if you can. Say cheese. It works. Uh, I mean, I knew my ghost catcher would work. Ghosts do work on the same principles as shadows, so they must be made up of the same elements. Not so tough now, are you? In a few seconds, we'll be able to pinpoint the entrance to the shadow dimension. I think he's almost got it. <laughs> Java getting cold. We're not alone. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> no one touches my you watch. <laughs> Maybe there is. We can use my own shadow to lead us there. <laughs> Face it, you're trapped. If you don't help us, I'll smash the test tube and destroy you forever. Do we have a deal? Horror 
movies, there's always a way out. Oh! Oh! What now? You definitely aren't my shadow. Java not shadow. It's okay, Java. That's Caitlin. She's on our side. What's happening to us? We're fading away! <laughs> it seems the longer we stay in this place, the more shadow-like we become. If we don't do something quickly, we'll turn into shadows. Forever. This is so unfair! I just met the perfect guy, and then this happens. Mm. Oh, wait a sec. Martin's the perfect guy? Oh, dear. Bring me the last two! Now! <laughs> oh, that's it! We've passed the same building three times! Oh. You wouldn't be intentionally misleading us now, would you? That's better. Hey, why is he in such a good mood? Man, if you can't even trust your own shadow, who can you trust? I think that's an express route to the shadow dimension. It's too strong! I've got you, Billy! You're not going anywhere! Martin, you know that test tube is your best chance to fight Barack and save the world, right? What are you talking about? Save the test tube and come rescue me later! No way! We're a team! We stick together no matter what! Billy! Goodbye, Martin! Laser selected. Time to shed some light on the situation! Bullseye. Ugh. It looks like I'm the last person on Earth. Now listen to me carefully. All of my friends are in danger. The entire world is in danger. So when I ask you where the entrance to Barack's dimension is, you better tell me! Huh? <laughs> That's better. Way between the dimensions. Now what? If I cross over to the shadow dimension, humanity is finished. But if I can pull Barack into this world while I'm still here, he'll be defeated. That doesn't sound so hard now, does it? Well, here goes. Oh, Barack really needs to hire a decorator. This place is so last century. <laughs> I've got to get everyone out of there. But first, I have to find Barack. <laughs> Unless he finds me first. <laughs> Things so easy for me. I'm taking you to my world, Barack. It'll soon be my world, human. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Barack, aren't we in the middle of a battle? <laughs> oh! oh, come on, that's totally not fair. <laughs> Escape the darkness! <laughs> the beanie I 
can take, but that laughter is really starting to get on my nerves. You better hurry! Look what's happening to us! I'm not sure how much longer Martin can survive. That Barack is too powerful. Well, he could have dropped Martin in here. I've never felt so helpless. I wish there was something we can do. Wait! Aren't the shadows afraid of light? It looks like your U-Watch still has some energy left in it. The core of the U-Watch is powered by a luminescent magnesium energy cell. I have an idea. That's what you get for messing with my watch. Oh, Wookie, Bubble Whack is afraid of a little bitty light. So you're probably not gonna like this. <laughs> Pitiful human. The sting of that light is nothing compared to the pain I will inflict upon your bones. It's time to bring out the big boys. Laser selected. <laughs> Say goodbye, Barack. <laughs> 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 Now, how am I going to get everyone out of there? Martin, watch out! Oh man, I hope he's not one of those what doesn't kill me makes me stronger type of creatures. You will soon learn to regret your actions. Oh, don't worry. I regret it already. It's time to even up this battle. Okay. I've had enough of you two! I don't suppose you've given up. I didn't think so. Martin in trouble! It doesn't look good! Come on, Martin! Show me what you've got! You can do it! Soon the entire world will belong to my shadow! Now how am I gonna get out of this one? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna mess this one up, especially if I can get a date out of it. That's right, human. Give up! There's no way you can defeat Barak. Actually, there is one way. Turbo bungee selected. Welcome to my world, Barak! Yeah! According to the reports coming in, people are emerging from holes all over the world. Superb work, Agent Mystery. Uh, thanks. It's great to have you all back. Uh, but I couldn't have done it without... You did it, Martin! Caitlin! You saved me! And the world! Uh, so I was wondering if you thought about what I asked before? You know, uh, about going out with me sometime? With all that's been going on, I think that... We should definitely go out. That's cool. No big deal. We can still be friends. Martin, I know it sounds totally implausible, but Caitlin said yes. Huh? What? You'll go on a date with me? <laughs> this is even better than saving the world! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, but what about your boyfriend, Alex? Alex? 
<laughs> Martin, meet Alex. She's my old roommate. <sighs> Alex is a girl? She's a girl! Woohoo! <laughs> she's a girl, she's a girl! <laughs> Oh, if anyone at school knew this was my first date ever, I would never live it down. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. Yo, Martin! So, what's up for our big date? Uh, well, I was thinking about, you know, having a nice, quiet, candlelit dinner at a fancy restaurant, followed by a moonlight stroll and... What kind of girl do you think I am? Well, I, I, uh, I think you're, uh, um... Never mind. I've already planned our date. We're gonna check out a martial arts movie, get some tomato burgers, then finish it off with some video games. Tomorrow we can go to the wax museum. Then the next day we can go to the carnival and ride that new roller coaster. What have I got myself into? Oh, Martin, come on, it's gonna be fun. And next weekend we can go to the comic book convention and go to a basketball game, and then we can check out this new arcade that my brother told me about, and then... 